The podcast Xbox Expansion Pack did an interview with Yannick Belzell. I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, one of the developers on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge about all various aspects of it. One of the things that was brought up, though, was alternate costumes, which kind of led down to an ultimate discussion of DLC. And the conclusion was there's no planned DLC. The reason, particularly in talking about alternate costumes, was the fact that they're perfectionists. That's, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, but they're perfectionists. And so they would work really hard to, you know, get all the animations exactly the way they want it to. They talked about having uh, trench coat turtles. We remember those. And they would want the coats flying and dynamic and stuff like that. It would take a very long time to do it. So they didn't really have any plans for DLC. So that's a little disappointing. And I get some of that is my own personal conditioning or having been conditioned with DLC over, what, the last 15 years or so, you expect a little more from a game that you like. You want a little bit more. We're not talking about you hold stuff back and then charge for it later. We're talking about a full, complete experience, and then you see where it takes you from there. And the fact that they said, no, nah, there's not really going to be any DLC for this game, it's disappointing. Because it's, it's a good game. It's not a big game, by the way. It's only got a story mode. It's got an arcade mode. And what's supposed to carry you after that is completing challenges, completing, uh, getting collectibles, speed running, and the multiplayer. And by the way, the multiplayer is fantastic. Love it. Love it. That's, it's going to give this game a lot of legs for a long time. But that's about it. It's, it'll get old. After a little while, not to say it'll get bad or boring, but eventually your attention span for it will decrease, especially as you get better for it and you're completing all the objectives, you're completing the achievements. And they said they're not going to give more, which is really disappointing because I want more. <laughs> I want more of this. But there was an update from the CEO and executive producer from Dadimu. I'm not even saying, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that name right. But they said, the person said, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but show the tweet on screen. Basically, he said, what they come up with will, quote, depend on many factors like the game's reception and the ideas and feedback that the awesome community will send us. They basically said, never say never. Okay, so there's a chance. I like my chances because there's no way this game doesn't get something good. The feedback has been phenomenally good. I like it. I think every other reviewer likes it. Everybody who's played it likes it. I have qualms with it. It's not a perfect game. I don't think it's better than Streets of Rage 4, but it is fun, especially the multiplayer. That's my favorite part. It reminds me back of the arcade games. You think somebody's going to have some fantastic ideas to give to the community. But you know what? Consider this a small piece of community feedback. All right. You can use this video. It's a small piece. Community feedback. Let's, let's just dump it all into them. Right. Bring on the DLC. Bring it on, Tribute Games. Bring it on, Dotemu. Please bring on the DLC. Because here's the thing I believe about these developers is that they're not holding anything back. They're not withholding content and then charging us for it. No, they're creating it from scratch now. They've put out the game. This is the game that they've put out. I appreciate that. It's not a big game. It didn't need to be a big game, by the way. I'm not saying it needed to be bigger. But what they put out, they put their heart into it. They made it as, as great as possible. And boom, this is it. I appreciate that. But that doesn't stop me from wanting more of it because, again, it's not a big game. So I am more enticed to give them my dollars because I know not only would they not hold anything back and call it DLC, I know that they're going to 
put their heart and soul into whatever they create. But here's the thing. Forget the costumes. Forget all that. That's cool. But I'd rather have new characters and new stages. Bring us that stuff. And particularly, what I would love, if Konami would allow it, is retro stages refitted into Shredder's Revenge. That would be a lot more difficult because there's a Kawabunga collection. I think that's supposed to come out this month in June. Maybe July? I don't know. One of these. Maybe later. I don't have the exact date off the top of my head. But there is a Kawabunga collection that's supposed to have the old arcade games, particularly Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, and uh, Turtles in Time, plus some other, obviously, turtle-related games. So I don't think Konami would want those stages built into Shredder's Revenge for the sake of uh, sacrificing other people playing that game. But it wouldn't have to be all the stages, just one or two. Some classic, iconic stages, maybe one from the NES, and then one from... You know, the actual arcade cabinet kind of stages. That's all. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then we could get some new characters too. And that would freshen everything up. That would get everybody back in, playing again, enjoying the stages, and enjoying all of it with the type of beat 'em up style that Tribute Games and Dot Emu have combined to create. And I would be down for that. Tell me you wouldn't be down for that. Oh my gosh. I'd pay money for that. Absolutely. Yes. I don't know how much I would pay, but I would pay money for it. Yes, I would. So let's go further than the costumes. Let's not stop at the costumes. Let's go further. I don't know what other character I would want to use. Maybe one of Shredder's forms just for the fun of it. I mean, it is an arcade game. Might as well get a little kooky with it, right? Sure. Why not Shredder fight his own foot? What, what the heck? I don't know. What characters would you want to see? That's what I want to know. Uh, some of you are probably far more familiar. I've kind of fallen off the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles train, not because it's not good. It's just I got a little older and my attention has not been going in that direction. And I am looking forward to my daughter getting older. And if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is still around, I know I'd be watching it with her. I didn't have the the benefit of cable when I was growing up, being able to watch Ninja Turtles. So that was an unfortunate miss for me. But I got to watch some of it sometimes. But the arcade games kept kept me connected. And here we are, Ninja Turtles. You guys have more perspective on the characters. So who would you want to see? Anyway, my point is, bring on the DLC. Please. All right, what's your perspective on this? Do you want Tribute Games and .emu to launch some DLC? Are you satisfied with just uh, costumes? Are you satisfied with the idea of smaller things or would you want something bigger like a stage or a new character and like I asked what if you do want a new character what character would you like go ahead and drop your comments below you know how this works this is YouTube you've been doing it for a long time so uh, I'm just here trying to have conversations I'm doing it through YouTube so would love for you to join me in the comments to talk about this subject Like the video if you liked it. And, you know, of course, you could dislike it if you want to. Either way, engage with it. Helps get the videos out. I'm just trying to be out here having conversations with y'all. All right? So I'll see you in the comments. Talk to you later.